Today is all about March birthstones. And March babies, you have two good ones. You've got the aquamarine and bloodstone. So March babies, you do have two choices. You have the aquamarine and the bloodstone, and these are two very, very different stones. So it's, it's nice, you have really a wide choice in just these two stones. So let's start with the aquamarine. Aquamarine is a, is a light blue to blue to sort of greenish teal color in the barrel family. So when it gets really green, this is the same stone as uh, an emerald. The blue is what's most desirable, sort of a dark blue. The teal and the green, it's not that it's undesirable, but people tend to like the blue, so they're generally heated to get rid of any teal, green, or blue. But if you like that sort of greenish color, it is available in an aquamarine. Even though it's barrel, an aquamarine comes in at a seven and a half or an eight on the Mohs scale. What's interesting is it is stronger than an emerald because it doesn't have as many inclusions. So an aquamarine is a pretty good, strong stone to wear, and you can wear it in a ring, you can wear it anywhere. You can even wear a very large aquamarine in an emerald cut or any cut on your hand as a, as a ring, and that is a nice thing. In different parts of history, and so in estate jewelry, you will find some very big, beautiful aquamarine stones. The name aquamarine comes from two Latin words, aqua meaning water and marine meaning of the sea. And it does have that sort of sea blue and sometimes blue green color of the sea. Aquamarines can be found all over the world. They're found in Africa, Middle East, um, Russia, North and South America. But truly the, the ones that we usually see are from Brazil. They produce a lot of aquamarines and they're beautiful aquamarines. And you'll find aquamarine stones throughout history, jewelry, but when, uh, when they find it in Brazil is when you really see it more prolifically in jewelry. The stones were beautiful and were readily available. Aquamarine is said to make the wearer more intellectual, amiable, and unconquerable. It was often worn into battle, but it was also known that it would help you if in any kind of litigation or argument. Aquamarines are said to promote intuition, and crystal balls, some of them, were made from aquamarine. And it was an aquamarine crystal ball that the mystic gazed into to determine when Queen Elizabeth I's coronation should take place. The ancient Greeks and Romans believed that aquamarine would protect sailors and keep them from getting seasick. It is also said that if you set an aquamarine with diamonds, it will bring happiness to a marriage worn as a wedding ring, especially to the bride. Aquamarines are traditional gifts for 16th and 19th wedding anniversaries, and this is in part because an aquamarine is said to rekindle marital love. So aquamarines are said to be very, very powerful and positive stones. The second birthstone for March babies is the bloodstone. Bloodstone is a form of jasper, and it is when you have jasper that is this dark, dark, earthy green, and then it has either spots or streaks of red in it. It is a very ancient stone. It has been used for a long time in jewelry and in other items. Bloodstone comes in at a seven on the Mohs scale, so you can use it in rings and anywhere. And because it is jasper, it can be sliced pretty thin, which gives it a lot of uses too. It can sort of, it can make a flat signet ring, and it was also used on the bottom of watch fobs a lot. The ancient Romans and Greeks used them for seals. They would carve it into a ring and they would use it as a seal on the wax for documents. Throughout history, the bloodstone has also been said to heal blood disorders and help your blood congeal. So the Babylonians wore them as amulets and they would touch it to the body to heal blood disorders, and the Romans and different uh, ancient warriors would take it into war in an effort to heal their wounds when they were wounded in battle. It's also known as Christ stone because it is said that when Jesus bled on the cross, he, his blood changed the jasper below him into bloodstone. Bloodstone is also said to bring vitality, strength, and courage. You'll find it in a lot of antique jewelry, it's a beautiful stone. What's nice about these two stones for March babies is you have the one, the aquamarine, that's the transparent, clear, sparkly stone, and then you have the bloodstone that is more the opaque, 
more casual kind of stone that you can wear in an in a sort of every day and in some interesting ways. They're really two good choices that give you a lot of variety. So those are the March birthstones. Are you a March baby? Which do you like better, aquamarine or bloodstone? I'm not a March baby, but I like them both. Please subscribe. I would love to see you again. Bye for now.